Welcome to Devonshire Place Muse, tucked away off Devonshire Street, only moments from the shops and restaurants of Marleybone High Street. This beautiful home behind me has four bedrooms, four and a half baths, and is 2,700 square feet. It's listed with Beecham Estates for six and a half million pounds. I'm so excited to show you around, so let's start the tour. Starting from the outside, the home comes with its own garage and an EV charging point. I'll quickly open up the garage to show you. So here's a little look inside for size reference. You could probably fit an old Porsche 911 in here, which I think would be a great car that suits this house. So a little bit of history about the Muse houses, they were built in the 18th and 19th century and they started off with pretty humble beginnings but have transitioned into highly sought after residential real estate in prime central London. Muses were the service roads for the Victorian and Edwardian elite and then in the 1960s there was a Muse revolution and if you were able to get your hands on one of these back then, it turns out to be a pretty lucrative investment. On average, since 1960, Muse houses have gone up over 500% in value. So I wish I bought one back then but unfortunately I was not alive. Anyway, I know you guys all want to see inside, so let's go on in. Welcome inside the entrance. So firstly, you have an intercom with a camera outside the door. Then as you come in, you have some storage cupboards through here. Then to my left, you have a powder room. Now through these doors is the garage, which I just showed you. And the first cool feature of this home is this glass floor. So I'm gonna stand on it, it's a little scary and maybe a little bit too risky in a dress, but quite a cool feature as you walk in. Then there are black crittle doors through to the kitchen, which is the main room on this floor. So firstly, you have this gorgeous big island with four bar stools and a porcelain worktop. Then over on the left, we'll start on this side, we have the fridge, full height fridge over here and then the full height freezer is just over there. Siemens oven, a bore induction hob with the extractor fan in the middle. I love when the induction hob is in the island. Then over here, you've got the sink with a cooker hot tap and then another oven over here. Now, I told you about the history of Muse houses and they've actually kept something really cool in this house, which would have been used back in the day. It's called a dumbwaiter. So it's where they would put the food in. And as you can see, you've got one ground and basement and it sends the food up. Pretty cool, right? We also have speakers in the ceiling under floor heating and air conditioning. It is a summer's day today, so I'm definitely appreciating the aircon. Anyway, we have so many more floors to show you. The next floor is my favorite with the living room and bedroom. So let's go on up. So coming up the black floating staircase, you have a glass balustrade and separating the spaces up here, you have the black crittle glass, which I'm obsessed with, and then double doors leading you into the living space. Wow, look at this interior design. This is one of my favorite rooms. The interiors are so dreamy. I can totally imagine myself living here. And the one thing I love about these muses is how quiet and relaxing they feel. Although we're in such a good location, only two minutes from Marleybone High Street, it still feels so quiet. Anyway, we've still got the speakers in the ceilings, the same flooring which was used downstairs. And then over on this side, we have a nice seating area. So we've got six seats, Perfect for eating lunch, dinner, and then on the summery days, like today, you can eat out on the terrace. Wow, this is incredible. This is the selling point for me. Having outdoor space in London is like a hidden gem. Hey Matt, nice of you to join us out here. Yeah, this is one of my favorite parts. So I was just about to tell the viewers about the history that we talked about at the start, how the Muse were the service roads yeah. and the elite of the Victorian and the Edwardian times, they would live in these grand townhouses and then the staff would live in the Muse houses out the back. But here's what they look like. And if you guys want to experience what living in one of those would be like, a couple of years ago, we toured yes. a massive Victorian townhouse on Devonshire Place. That whole building was priced at 20 million. So if you'd like to watch that, you can click above and go check that out. 
Right, we have some more to show you. So just behind us there is the incredible principal bedroom. Let me show you through. On the way to that, I'll just point out before we get there, this is the other end of the dumb waiter that Summer pointed out in the utility. So let me open that up here. So if you would still like to get your food delivered, there you go. Let's head through this way. We come back out into the hallway. We've got a couple of steps up with some nice LED lights surrounding wardrobe space as you come in to the bedroom with lots of hanging rails. And here it is, gorgeous light tones in here, very neutral, um, a lovely space to sit. You've got big windows over here, so lots of natural light. I like that they've carried the entertainment system throughout as well, so you can have music playing throughout the house. Nice bed space here, but it gets even better. This ensuite is very cool. Come on through. You can see it's a really nice size through here. They've used white porcelain tiles to make it feel really bright. You have two windows actually over there, frosted for privacy, and then also a skylight above the shower. So this whole room feels really bright. They've gone for the gold sanitary wear. This looks exactly same as the gold sanitary wear we had in our apartment in Australia. You can go check out some of our vlogs if you wanna see that. And then the toilet is around there, as well as a freestanding bath. Moving on with the tour, we'll head upstairs in a moment. I just want to point out the intercom system here so you can let people in and out of the home without having to go downstairs. And this staircase, as someone mentioned, is incredible. The steel fabrication and then the glazing around it really works with the rest of the interior design. Let's head up. Heading up the stairs, we're now on the fourth floor. Now what's nice is it stays very bright. We have the big skylight above and then also another window there. Thought some of you might be interested to know about the tenure. A lot of you do ask in the comments. So this is a leasehold property. And that really dates back to the history of Muse Homes. As we talked about, they were the horse stables and essentially servants quarters of the wealthy in the Victorian and Edwardian times. And that's actually where the term landlord was coined from back when Lords of London, Dukes basically ruled all of the land. And it really started to transition in the following centuries after that to much more individual home ownership. But that's why you'll find many of the Muse homes still in London are leasehold. Although this is, I think, pretty much 999 years, so coined a virtual freehold, but they often are still leasehold properties, which is an interesting thing and very unique to London as a city compared to the rest of the world. Um, here we are, again, another bedroom. So let's continue the tour. We have speakers in the ceiling. They've carried that through the entire house. This is still a really generous bedroom beautifully staged, I must say, two big windows outside, built-in wardrobes here, and this area is the ensuite. So coming into here, really nice size. I love that you have a big walk-in shower. Again, another skylight, so every room feels really bright, which is not what you might expect in a muse house. Typically, sometimes they can be quite dark and small. This doesn't feel like that at all. Freestanding bath, black Luso hardware in here, and one of the favorites of summer, is the mirror storage. Loads and loads of space through there. Beautiful, and even speakers in here too. We're gonna to head across to the other side where we have another bedroom. I'll be really interested to hear all your thoughts in the comments if you guys would consider living in a muse home and would you rather live in a muse home of this value or a two, three bed duplex apartment, say, what would you prefer? So last bedroom here on this floor, don't forget we've still got the basement to see and you're gonna to wanna to see that because that is an addition. Muse houses didn't originally come with basements. So we'll show you that some more. Nice window outside, smallest bedroom out of all of them. And then this has an ensuite in here. Um, nice shower again, the skylight. So lots and lots of space. I think now we should head down to the basement and show you what that's all about. Let's go. You now join me on the final floor of this property, the basement, which has been converted to an incredible standard. One thing I have to point out straight away is if you look up, they've used a piece of structural glazing to allow lots of natural light into here that you can actually walk over. And a couple of weeks ago, Summer and I were on the Palm touring an incredible villa on Billionaire's Row. I'm gonna link it above because they had a huge piece like that. So actually in the entire kitchen, you could look down to the basement. Go check that out, it was very cool. On with this tour, we have the desk area here, nicely utilized this amount of space, beautiful staircase again. I'm gonna take you through the black doors, firstly into the bedroom which is down here, which I feel would make a great guest bedroom because it's private and separated to the rest of the home. Now through this way via a pocket sliding door, we have firstly the dressing room, nice hanging rails, textured finish on here. Another pocket door takes you into the ensuite where it's nice and tall ceilings, big shower over here, great porcelain tiles. 
and then let's head back into the next section which is like the cinema media room nicely separated again but rather than using a wall i love that they've kept the glazing so all the natural light comes through this would make a perfect cinema room for me i'd be bringing in my projector and having a big movie up here which works really well it's nice and cool down here being a basement soundproof really well but still lovely tall ceilings and you even have access to the dumb waiter here which opens this side so you can have your food going up and down all of the floors. Very cool. Feel like you're back in the Bridgerton era, which we've been watching recently. And it's always great to watch that when you come into tour London homes. Speaking of food, we had a really nice morning. This is one of our favorite parts of London. So we spent the morning having breakfast on the Marlowe High Street, which is literally a minute's walk down the road. Now, I think let's get some final thoughts on this property. Summer is gonna meet you back upstairs. Now that's a wrap of the house tour. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. Drop us a comment down below what you think to this home and make sure to follow us on Instagram at The Luxury Home Show for behind the scenes content. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.